Join myself and King as Ramadi. Together we will devour the very God. Yo, hello, this is Delusional. Thank you guys, really, for the last video that I have made. It's been well received by all of you. Thank you, really. Now, for this video guide, it's going to be more of a shorter video, really, it, than the other one, for sure. And it's going to be a mix-up video. How to do mix-ups with Yoshimitsu. Now, most of the people that asked me for this uh, have been the commenters from the last video, so I just wanted to do it for you guys that may have been wanting some kind of uh, guide for Yoshimitsu when it comes to doing mix-ups. So I hope this would help. But before I mention anything or showcase anything for Yoshimitsu, I just wanted to iterate something about the things that I missed to, t uh, to show you guys in the full guide video. So with Yoshimitsu, he can do uh, flee up 3 plus 4. <laughs> I forgot to mention this move in the flea section. <laughs> on block is plus four. Though you're plus four on block, I will say don't use this in the wall. <laughs> because you're still kind of unsafe. They can still retaliate against you and hit you on, off the ground. So I would advise not to use this on the wall. Another thing that I forgot to mention was that if you're in Manji stance, doing 2-4 and holding back does this for you. <laughs> You actually put away your sword to go into your no sword stance. I forgotten that he actually had this move because in the trailer he did it, but it just went away in my mind for some reason. So I forgot to add that in Manji stance section in the full guide. Also, for those that are having trouble with the uh, combo video part of the guide, for example, doing this move. <laughs> In the labeling that I have placed down in the video combo portion, uh, it says just frame in the end, right? What I mean by this is that just as the move list iterates uh, on the move, or forward two during hit from front, press two again. So essentially, the reason why I say just frame is that if you already know what just frames are, this is its just frame move. I forgotten halfway through when doing the video portion for the combos that people wouldn't really know what just frame means. So I should have just placed this instead for you guys so that way you would have been confused. So again, to do this move, just do 4042 and then press 2 right as you hit them. So I hope that kind of helped. If anybody really, really wants me, I, I would say just make a, a comment down on the video and either if you want me I even do it myself and then you guys can then tell me if you really badly want me to redo that portion of the video I will take it off off of my channel and just redo that portion just for you guys if you really want me to do that I mean as a content creator the doing the videos is well received now I kind of don't want to do that uh, but then again if you guys really want me to I will do it just for you guys I wouldn't really care if I lose some subscribers, because if you came to watch me and to see what I do for this channel, the things that I am going to be uploading to my channel, then that makes me happy. So just let me know. Now, to the mix-up portion of the game. Well, so one thing that you can do with Yoshimitsu is that if you're using these moves, let's say Flea 4-2, or Manji 4-2, or 3-1, While on block, these three moves are plus seven. So what you can do when you're using these moves, these all these three moves put you into Manji stance. So if you use these moves, and let's say the dummy character that I have here, Kazuya, does like let's say a fast neutral one jab against me, right? It actually hits the Kazuya before he can hit me. Or if I do, let's say, again, flee into four or two. I still beat them before they hit me. Now the reason why that is, it has to do with the frame data, so if you want to know more about that, uh, I'll just do another video explaining frame data uh, so uh, thoroughly, so that way you guys won't have to like hear me talk about frame data all day, okay? 
Now, another thing that you can do with Kazuya, and this is if you want to use either these two moves that I'll be mentioning. Actually, it's three moves, but let's just say these two moves. Let's say if you were to use uh, Kencho 4, or either Sidestep 4, both moves are the same, and they block it. Do CD2. If they go for a high, you can actually duck the high and do CD2. Now, the reason why I'll say they either do Kencho 4 or Sidestep 4, uh, for one, uh, since it's zero on block, they're more likely to try to attack you so that they can try to hit you off whatever other move you may do next. So if they try to jab you, you can just do CD2 and catch them off guard. Also, if they use any move, let's say like a launcher like that's either 14 frames on startup or even 15 frames on startup, this move, it is 13 frames on startup instead. And since they use a 10 frame jab, which is a high, it's 10 frames. So I'm faster than they are. One other thing you can use is essentially if you do any of these two moves, you can hit them while doing Kencho 4 or 2. Mind you, if you go into either Sesta 4 or either Kencho 4, you can just constantly repeat into uh, your 4. So for example, let's say if I do this. So you can do that. Of course, you're not going to want to do that in a real game because they can just duck the high. But the reason why you would want to use this move is simply because of the fact that you can go into Kencho while doing that move. So just side step 4 or Kencho 4 and press 1 plus 2 again to go into your Kencho stance. Now, if you go into it, just go and use forward 2. And if they use a high, you can catch them off guard. Because forward 2 in Kencho stance is also a high crushing move. I also like to use a forward 1 in Tekken 7 and do CD2 as well. It also will, would work in Tekken 8. So you can do that. Or if you want to be cheeky, you can kind of go into a forward 1 and do Indian stance. Up to you, really, how you want to go about mixing them up when you use either of these moves. I guess you can even do it from your Sidestep 4 and Kencho 4 and not do CD2 or either Kencho to forward 2 and just go to Indian Stance if you want to be that uh, annoying to them, if you if that makes sense, right? Also, if you use uh, forward forward 4, for example, and you want to get away from them because you think that since you're minus 6, you're safe, but since you're back turned, you're likely to get launched or attacked by whatever move they use against you. So what you could do in, in this situation is that you can either do down back to reposition yourself away from the target. And you can also evade their move. The reason why is that since you're crouching and you're moving away from them, you're also doing two things at once. You're ducking the high and you're getting away from them to reposition yourself back to neutral. Though, that doesn't mean they can't still stop you. As you saw, I may cause to do a mid-move, as fast as mid-move that I can think of, and it still caught me. The reason why is that even though that I am minus 6 and I'm safe as long as I move away, but since I'm back turn and they're using their fastest move on mid, they can still catch me off guard. So I'm still either way unsafe if they go for a mid, any mid that's quick enough to get hit by. But you do still have another answer for that as well. You can just do either back 3 or back 4, which is simply doing this. But be mindful that you are losing health when doing this, and if you do it too many times, you lose lots of health and you get dizzy. Also, weirdly enough, if you hold forward, you kind of block the move automatically. That... I'm not too sure whether or not if Yoshimitsu can do that in Tekken 7, so this might be something new, or it could be wrong. One other thing you can try doing as well, if they try going for a low, you can do that. But that's a lot likelier, unlikelier to, is unlikelier a word? Uh, it's less likely to actually happen that they just might go for a low attack. Their best choice is either go for a mid or a high, so I would bet that Doing this wouldn't really work, but in situations where they're very conditioned by you, you can try using that. Because a lot of what a lot of players are afraid of when you're in back turn stance like this, 
is a down one. Especially if it, you know, they try to attack you and you can also high crush with this move. And if it counter hits, it just leads into a knockdown. And you can do that. Which also puts you in an okay situation as well if they get hit by this combo against them. One other thing you can do with Yoshimitsu is that if you were to go and hit them with the last hit of 2-2 on block, you can flash them if they try pressing any buttons. But be mindful if they instead decide not to attack you. Because you are uh, completely vulnerable to getting launched when you're doing this. Because you are minus 15 on block, but on whiff, I'm not too sure exactly how many frames it is, because the game doesn't really tell you. But just know that you're going to get launched if they see this and you don't do anything right after for whatever reason. So you, yeah, just, just be mindful, just be mindful. You can also do up for one like I've mentioned and do flash. So that's another good, uh, another good mix up you can try using with Yoshimitsu. Also, if you try using down 2-2, two, two, uh, let's say if you block the first hit, right? If they block the first hit and you decide to go for the second hit, then you can use that as a mix-up. Now, the way you will use this is that you will delay the second hit to catch them off guard. They will just think that you're going to be using either down 2-2, two, two, so they'll just block both hits, or... They may think you're going to be doing down two into one, which is safe on block. But if you just, uh, just do the one, the down one, one down one, then they're going to think that, oh, okay, they just fucked up the combo, they fucked up the string, whatever, right? So just do this and delay it. And if they press buttons, they get caught by the move and it kind of hit launches them. Uh, I kind of also mentioned this in the Okazami part of the full guide in my last video, that if you do down forward three... You can kind of catch them off guard if they're gonna go for any type of like let's say high moves you can do something like that for example or even and do that now most cases they're not gonna retaliate and they're gonna wait and see what you're gonna be doing so they can then catch you off guard or other times they're too afraid to press any buttons so they'll just be holding block so you can use this to mix up and catch them off guard now, one thing you can do also is that if you do two back one, you can also use it as a mix-up tool. So you can do stuff like this by just simply holding back once you do two and then hold back into one. And let's say you can do whatever, like, okay, let's say they are going to go for a mid uh, linear move that can be sidestepped. I didn't mean to do that. You can sidestep yourself. You can try going for a low. I mean, he has it all blocked. You can do down forward two. You can go into Samurai Cutter if you want to go for Samurai Cutter for the launch. Into your command grab. Or any other grab. But m being mindful that you're not super, like, plus on anything on this. If you do any of this, they can still hit you out of it. As you can see. Also, I don't know if you already know this, but back two can go into Kensho stance. You can use that as well as a kind of a mediator to kind of mix it up with other moves in Kensho. So let's say, for example, they try to go for a high, like I already mentioned. You can go into forward two. Or if you want to catch them off guard and see if they're going to press any buttons or just like uh, feel like they want to sidestep you. You can go into back two. And if you hit them with the move, then of course you can launch them with the follow-up one. And in some cases, uh, if you want to use the, like your low, if they're too conditioned, they, they just want to block you, but they're not going to block low. You can use that. Or even your other low move. Which sadly enough, they have removed the cancel out of in this game, which I do not know why they, they removed it essentially. Also... Doing a forward two has its cancel still from second seven. Just hold down as you use the move and you cancel out of the move itself. So if you do this, since you're already holding down, you can just go for Samurai Cutter. 
Or if you want to trick them, if they know that you're going to go for the Samurai card, you can just do a hop kick instead. So do that if you want to catch them off guard. Some Yoshi Mitsu will even go so far as to go for 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Another one that's kind of easy to understand is doing back one into down back three. This goes into a high, into a low, so you can catch them off guard with that as well. And since with back, uh, sorry, with down back three, you can actually go into Indian stance by holding down into three plus four once you had done the two hits or three hits or four hits. I also like to do down forward three and pause to go into Manji stance. So I can also go for my 3 plus 4 for my command grab. This really fucks with the brains of the player because they think they're going to go for, again, your Samurai Cutter, your Full Crouch 4, or even your Hop Kick. I also like doing uh, up forward uh, 3 plus 4 into Flea. And then do 2. This is a good way of mixing up if they are too afraid of the Flea stance. Since I already mentioned that if you hold on to flee, you become a hitbox. You hear that sound? That's an indication of whether or not that if they get close enough to you, that it becomes a hit. But it's not just like down using two when you're in flee stance. You can also do, uh, let's say, into three plus four, if they're gonna be ducking your low move. Or if you want it to be easier, you can just go into one plus two instead. But in this case, it's a high. So depending on how they retaliate or how they maneuver around with you, it might not work. I also like doing this to really fuck with people. So those are good choices. Uh, it really just depends on you how you want to go about it. Oh, I also forgot this one. You can do this. This really messes with them. They, they don't know why you're doing that. And they can still hit you out of flea, mind you. It, it's just because you're... Ha you have an invisible hitbox out of nowhere doesn't mean that the hitbox itself is gone for a few seconds so they can still hit you mind you they can't hit the sword itself so if they go for a low they get hit by it as you can see now i don't know if i can consider this a mix-up but it does messes with the opponent as well if you go for let's say uh forward three plus four your tackle move uh, while you're in your default stance, you can just hold back and do that, and you can really mess with people. But since they removed the armor crush properties that this move used to have, uh, not, not armor crush, sorry, I think it was power crush, the actual name of it. Am I still wrong? Either way, you have armor when you use uh, forward 3 plus 4 and second 7, but they removed it. They gave it to forward 4 instead. So, what you can try doing is that if you're far away, which seeing how that a lot of combos now have a lot of far away knockback, you can just use this to try to trick them and do this. Another mix up trick you can try doing is that if let's say you're in the neutral and they're very aggressive with you or they really want to get close to you for whatever reason because you're just doing stuff like this. Like you see a lot of Yoshimitsu just doing this to get away. So if they get annoyed enough and they try to run towards you, do this against them. Go into your meditation stance, press 3 plus 4 again to get out of it, and then just do down 1. This catches a lot of people a lot of times, especially if you're right in front of them like this, you can just do that and catch them. If you do it quickly enough, which let's say for example, once you see the first like air pump, I don't know what you call that weird thing he does. As soon as you see it, just press 3 plus 4 again. You can cancel out of it. You would also see some Yoshi misses doing, like, let's say, uh, Manji into 2, and then try going for 2 again. Uh, that's again to check on see whether or not the opponent is going to attack you again, uh, for whatever reason. But uh, I will say that that's not really a good mix up tool, because depending on the situation, I mean, you're, you're plus 4 when doing that. But in some cases, they can just sidestep you and catch you off guard. So just use this willing, like, how should I say? Uh, use this move sparingly. If that makes sense yet, do that instead. Be more frugal. That's the word. Be more frugal with that move. I also forgot to show this one as well. You can do like up forward uh, 3 plus 4 into 1 4. You can catch people off guard with that as well. They don't know if you're going to be going off with the one that does that and hit them. 
And also, if you don't know, if they block any of this move, mind you, if they, let's say, get hit, let's say they get hit, let me show you this instead. Let's say they get hit by the move. That happens, right? So you kind of get away from them, it, it automatically does, does this for you. If you don't do the full combo or the full strings of that comes from up forward 3 plus 4, Yoshimizu does that, like he just hops back. But on block, you stay right next to them still. So you don't have to worry about going back. So you can kind of use this as a mix-up tool. So you can do something like, let's say, uh, 3 plus 4, sorry, up 3 plus 4 into 1 and then do this. You can catch them off guard with that. Of course, I don't just mean to do uh, down back 1, 2. You can just do something else. It doesn't matter what you prefer to use. It just depends on how you want to mix them up with. You can also try using uh, 4, 4, 3, which is like uh, another mid kick move you can do. And if you press your 1 plus 2, you can go into Kento stance. And then from there, you can go into forward 2 to catch them off guard if they go for a high. <laughs> But if they go for a mid, it's likely that they can still beat the move. Well, in this case, it still worked. Uh, I have Kazuya set with the fastest mid move they can use. At least that's what the punishment uh, settings is telling me. So I guess you can still use forward 2 to catch them. I already mentioned this, but if you do hit them with 4 forward 3, uh, Kencho forward 2 is guaranteed. You can also try using up 3 plus 4 instead, and you're plus 1 on block when doing this move. So, you can kind of use other moves that you want to try utilizing against them, like CD2, or you can even try going for a flash. Also, you can do down forward 2. I should have just showed that from the beginning though. And you can also do the same thing with CD2. Okay, never mind. Not with that either? Shit. Well, you can do down forward 2 into... Okay, 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 it doesn't work. Fuck it. All right. Uh, can I at least duck? Okay, I can duck. You can do 4 4 to 1 plus 2. It kind of puts you in a back turn st uh, stance. And same thing with 4 to 4 4. Just do down back. Same scenario. You can also try doing this when you're comboing somebody as well to try to get a mix up going. Though I would say it's more of like an Okazeme than really being a natural mix-up on when they're standing. That's a real good way to really mess with people. Like, if they try to go and backstep or just hold back right from a particular combo setup or situation, you can just do a up back 1 plus 3 to the unblockable. This is only uh, manageable if they only just hold back or do a back step. It will catch them off guard because they, they wouldn't know what to do in that situation. And in fact, I would say that anybody who tries to do an unblockable, they would always just stare in space. You know how you use uh, like a deer at a headlight, right? They would just stare at the headlight and then boom, get crashed by the car, right? Similar thing with the unblockables. I do it too. It happens to me. When I see an unblockable, I'm like, what the fuck? And then I just like get hit by the move. Because you, you don't know what to do. <laughs> You're just like, should I just hold back and maybe it, it will whiff? Or, But then most of the time, just like just sidestep away from them and you'll get away from the unblockable. But in my dumb ass, I, I'll just look at it like, oh, pretty lights. And I just get hit. So that's all the mix-up tools that I know of with Yoshimitsu. That's from mostly from previous games, from Tekken 7, uh, and a few from that I've learned in Tekken 8. But there's probably a lot more mix-ups you can see online from Twitter or maybe on YouTube. You maybe uh, see a lot of good mix-up tools there that they ha he has now in Tekken 8, I would say. Not just from, from previous games, but those are the ones that I know of now. So I hope this would help you guys if you are having trouble at the higher ranks and you want to know how to mix up with Yoshimitsu. If you really, really want to learn more, uh, besides just looking up Twitter or YouTube, there are discords for Yoshimitsu that allows you to see all of the neat tricks you can do with them that allows you to really do big damage or mix up or okazeme. I for one don't look at the Discord uh, Yoshimitsu Discord thing because uh, I like to 
learn naturally through the fights or what I pick up uh, through other Yoshimitsu that I fight against. And also because I just rather just look it up in Twitter or on YouTube, <laughs> really. Uh, uh, I'm kind of contradicting myself now, but you get what I mean. Just the, I, I prefer the natural fight, and then sometimes I just go up to YouTube or onto uh, Twitter instead because I always find something there. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that it helped you guys up, and please help me with a like. Uh, su subscribe if you want to, you know, see more of my shit. And yeah, stay tuned.